Hi, I'm Casey Hertz, and I'm here with Fusion Video Podcasts. I'm here with my friend Kim, and we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the mat. We're going to be doing actually some spine stretching. So Kim, I'm going to have you do a little bit of a classical spine stretch. So elevate the arms, find a nice wide collarbone, take an inhale here, and exhale, go into your spine stretch. So as you see, Kim tips back onto her sitting bones a little bit as she opens up her spine, and it's really easy with the arms tilted like this to get into the shoulders. Take an inhale here, elongate the spine and then exhale go ahead and stack back up and let's do that one more time inhale let's see where she initiates the movement exhale she starts to curl she gets you know some good opening here in the lumbar spine and then go ahead and stack back up but what we don't see rest the arms for a second is this really important thoracic opening okay so everyone that comes into the studio almost has a little bit of a flattened thoracic curve here and we want to start to break apart the tightness in the shoulder girdle now when you lift your arms up and they're flat and the palms are looking down at the floor what can happen is this tendency to bring the shoulders up so we're going to do two switches um, from the classical here. We're gonna pillow her up on her sitting bones so that, let's do that right now. So I have the little blanket behind you. And so I just have a rolled up blanket. You can use a pillow, uh, you can use yoga blocks, you can use a bolster, but this is nice because it lessens the pull on the hamstrings, feel a little bit more comfortable, yeah. So the other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna have her reach her arms up with the thumbs up. This external rotation of the upper arm bones really helps to widen her collarbone, and it's gonna allow her scapula to roll on her rib cage, which is really what they're supposed to do. Now, I'm gonna give Kim this little cue of finding her sitting bones by pulling up and in through here. So I want you to find that lumbar spine. Yes, beautiful. Now bring your rib cage back a touch. Now this is a wonderful starting position. Inhale here. And now go into the spine stretch, but can you keep this, Kim, starting with the head? Aha! Uh -huh. Notice how much more she has to hinge through here. Let the shoulder blades wash the rib cage. Beautiful. Feels like a big stretch, doesn't it? Now see if one by one these vertebra can come up. Oh, look at that. And off of one another. Beautiful, Kim. Now inhale into the space that you just found. Now exhale, one vertebra at a time is going to stack up and giving your clients this nice little feedback. Now keep the head down until we get to C7 and then the head comes up, really tells them where to go in space. Let's do that one more time. That was beautiful. Inhale, stay up on your sitting bones. Yes, ma'am. Exhale, feel your sternum dripping down. Good, and getting that little bit of that sternum cue gives them a beautiful direction. Oh my gosh, this looks great. Now, inhale in between my fingers here, and then exhale again. Feel my fingers. Have each, yes, and every vertebra, stack one on top of the other. The head stays down until this last one, and rest. How'd that feel, Kim? Good. Yeah, a little bit different. So try and experiment with this on yourself and then on your clients to see if you can get that little bit more of that thoracic flexion. And then maybe after that, bring it into the more classical and you can see how much further you can go. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon.